The role of food as one of the basic human needs cannot be overemphasized. Agriculture remains the foundation of the Nigerian economy, despite the presence of oil, which is the main source of livelihood for most Nigerians. But the agricultural sector suffers because of low output. As a result, it is getting harder to feed the increasing population. In contributing its quota, Lagos government hosted its third Nigerian Food Fair 2021 to unlock market opportunities to promote Nigerian foods, create employment and ensure healthy food consumption. The four-day food fair was especially for the small-scale farmers who constitute the largest percentage of the farming population in Nigeria. I love farming. That's always been one of my, I would say, gifts because I didn't, apart from secondary and primary school that you to go through agriculture, I always had the passion for farming. Yeah. Everybody knows that agriculture is the bedrock of every nation. We have to eat. So... I actually went into this business during the pandemic. I'm actually into industrial cleaning, but I just thought to another way to earn money. And I looked around and I did a research and I found out that no matter how broke we are or how much we have, we have to eat. We have to buy food stuff. I like Ewa going with the sauce and um, I'm someone who is very particular about what I eat. And, you know, I just got the inspiration as in... Why can't I package, you know, this thing in a way that it can be easily accessible to everybody? Both, you know, those who are, you know, in the high class, medium class, you know, low class and all that. Uh, this is mushroom. We, I grow it myself. It's, uh, it's highly nutritious. It's good for the health. And uh, it's reduced uh, the blood pressure. And it's full of uh, fiber. And uh, it's rich in vitamin D. We farm and sell organic foods, vegetables, fruits, and we have some spices. Everything is from our farming, just so we farm, we planted everything and we bring them to Lagos. Activities at the fair included a seminar and a free capacity building workshop where experts train the farmers on tax issues, cooking gas resources, and alternative means of food preservation. Solar energy, uh, both it can, it can be converted. I mean, like I said, it's free. It can be converted in either into heat or electrical for agricultural uh, purposes. And specifically um, for drying, for preservation, and also in um, making production, uh, either at the primary level or the secondary level, make it efficient. We want to live healthy. Cooking with firewood, charcoal, say some things to our heads. It's not healthy. And we need to start thinking of how we can do our businesses and also do it in a better way and also can and save up for us also as money that we can want to do our businesses, especially in my agricultural sector. If they earn above 30,000 naira. There is a pay element. What is pay? Pay means pay as you earn. And now the government will collect that money from you because you are not paid agent of that government to collect that pay. And a lot of us, we don't even know this. The farmers express some of the challenges and expectations from the government. For preservation, you know, first of all, you need space to be able to keep these products and then insecticides, because those are one of the biggest problems farmers are having. Motto is our problem, to carry our rice from farm to town. It's really challenging, especially for us who sell fresh um, vegetables and a lot of other stuff. A lot of time, before some of these vegetables that come from the north, before it gets to us, it's already halfway gone. So if you don't sell off that day or the next day, you're already making a loss. But I'm sure that if we have things like chillers, if governments can give people who sell fresh food, all these chillers that we can put, they are chillers that chill vegetables. If you go to where they sell all these vegetables, you'll see that they put open chillers. If we can get some of those kind of stuff, we'll be able to preserve our vegetables for longer time. The state project coordinator of the World Bank Assisted Fadama project in Lagos State, Jonathan Obayemi, was of the opinion that agriculture is the solution to youth's unemployment. 
We are not doing more production because we are import dependent. So the only way around the economy as it is, is for all of us to get involved, the more and the better in agriculture. Because we are blessed, we are in drought, we have the ecology, we have the resources, we have the land. There are a lot of potential. And what we keep telling people now is that agriculture beyond production. The elated farmers said the food fair was beneficial as their businesses have a new turn. Then give me some input to help me to do my farm. Because this year I do 23 hectares, hectares of land. It's helping me because when I come here, people used to patronize me, they buy for me. Some people who I have their contact, they can call me next time, they can do anything. The one that I want to do sauce, fish sauce, that crayfish sauce, they can call me for it. Why I decided to come for this fair is because I know that um, it's in conjunction with the Lagos State Government. They have an ear, they will listen. Some of the seminars that we attended, they have taught us a lot for us small businesses, how to pay our taxes, how, um, I think NAVDAC people were here to, to tell us how to get NAVDAC for our products because for people like us who don't have NAVDAC yet, you can sell your products in very big supermarkets. The thrust here is that government, agricultural organizations and institutions are expected to ensure sustained and efficient production of food, a resource of critical importance to the security and integrity of Nigeria.